Hi friends, how are you doing today? So today I am back with one more tutorial and that will be rose. Of course, there are so many ways of doing rose. So we will be seeing a lot of rose tutorials. It's everyone's favorite, right? So there are so many ways you can do uh, paint rose in one stroke painting, oil painting, acrylic, like it's like uh, it's a versatile flower. So in one stroke painting, not only rose, but many other flowers are there which you can paint differently, like different artists use the different techniques to paint those flowers. Uh, rose also, we already saw um, the rose tutorial and uh, now I will be doing it in a different way and it's going to give you a really beautiful outcome for that first we will be um, making some centers will I I have loaded my brush with purple and uh, uh, light yellow lemon yellow and I make the center this way kind of oval now this center will be like how big you want your flower based on that you can paint these centers i'm going to paint three tiny flowers so i'm making the centers accordingly this way you see so i made three centers here now you want this to be dried a little bit before you start so i'll use my hair dryer enough I will now determine the um, sides my flowers are going to face so always the lighter side out so I want my flowers to be faced we have discussed this already like one flower this side one this side and one facing downwards so I will make the buds accordingly going a little bit up purple on purple the purple base you have here right so your purple will uh, side of the brush will be on the base but while the lighter side will go a little bit above the center so that you get the uh, lighter side on your work surface now again this one i want facing this side so i'll go this way we have already seen the bud strokes and uh, the petals so you can go and check the other tutorials if you want to learn and then you come back here so that you will have a better understanding of what we are doing so here one more time always do once or twice on your uh, strokes because it gives you the brighter look especially when you are doing on the dark surfaces like black or brown it gives you very uh, uh, what you call uh, defined looks to your petals now this is what is half part of the bird stroke now leave that as it is and we are going to proceed with the uh, petals from the side see little bit of wiggle and come in pull the brush inside as you do in the C strokes pull it inside this way when you pull just pull with the uh, sharp edge of your brush that only the top part this way lifting your brush and pull it inside so that you get a sharp finish if you uh, why you need us uh, that sharp finish because uh, it gives you like space for other petals to squeeze in so if you have a fat finish then it, the, it will fill the space also it won't give it a natural look now coming from the third side okay this way i just go again and make them much defined
you see it's it's a bit transparent so if you want you can leave that look as it is or you can just come in and make that another stroke like another layer and leave it now you see you got three flowers now I'm going to add lay, uh, the bud in the center so we can do it uh, one more in the center this way then i'll just this also we have seen how to do so you see i have closed the buds so you get a little bit of you see the folded uh, bud inside here this way then you take this and the folded by defect you get and that's it okay can you see this now I'll take if here you want like you are not very confident between uh, like making strokes in the center what you can do is you can take a smaller size brush this I'm using the same brush here I'm using size 20 konda brand brush okay so if you want uh, you feel like inside like working inside you may disturb the basic the base petal you can use the uh, smaller size brush like uh, uh, maybe size 12 and show you you see this is a smaller size brush you can see the difference see so this one uh, will work finely like see there is a lot of space for you uh, when you use this brush but when you use this one like you have to be very careful so this is a tip that you can use go for a smaller size brush until and unless you are confident with the uh, flatter brush try to change the brushes in between that helps a lot so what here I will do this one I have not worked second layer it seems okay I'll work on this okay I'll come here in the center and you see keeping parallel to this I'm taking my another stroke now if that stroke is not very visible then you can do one thing you can take a little bit of darker color like if you are using dark color you can take little bit of lighter color on the top of your brush to make that stroke visible in a light color so I will take little bit of darker yellow and work it out on my brush and now you can see you will have a distinct pattern the side also I got two petals now I'll come here same way I will pull in the petals here also I'm going to pull in the petals this way you see two two petals I just pulled it across now the final part is again we are adding the lower uh, petals so I'll just go below this one and pull it inside that's it we will be doing a little bit of layering here that's the reason I kept it closer because you see the look it gets like all the flowers are overlaid and look very dense and beautiful so if you want if you don't want your flowers to be like this close to each other you can just paint the center a little bit apart and then paint few leaves below your flowers so that way it gives you a 
different look so it's up to you your imagination so here also I can go and add some petals smaller ones like this just fill the whole thing so this is how we paint it with the center and a flowers without leaves don't look very good so I'll just go and paint some leaves and it looks beautiful like this combination of leaf just beautiful I get I don't play, uh, press my leaf much down I just keep it straight and I just wiggle and you see I get these sharp edges just keep your brush straight this way straight standing and just wiggle it and move upwards you get sharp leaves and if you place your brush little bit down you get a much um, what do you call this way of flatter do you see strokes so I'm making one more here just do a mess no the messy works looks more beautiful in one stroke don't go away from your flowers and petals just overlay overlay on them don't worry that it will get messed once it it's done and once you learn the neck it will surely come out very beautiful those who feel like they're not getting these strokes um, properly I'll tell you that it's practice it's only practice trust me just practice 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 if the brush doesn't work this way keep it this way if it doesn't work this way keep it this way just change your brush uh, angles try to um, um, work out uh, no need to follow the same instruction try to work out your own way uh, try to uh, do some experiments so what happens is you will like discover something like the maybe a, an easier option compared to this maybe you can come up with an easier option so discover and I am a self-taught like artist so I I just share uh, with you the way I have learned things it doesn't mean that you you have to follow the same thing you can discover your own way of doing and after all I keep on saying that this is decorative painting this is not a rocket science so you don't have to follow the set of instructions just feel free allow your imagination to open up and um, experiment with your brush and colors play with them don't take them seriously and you will surely learn this art and it's like it's like meditation so you don't pressurize your mind in meditation you don't pressurize your mind when you do this painting so for the center as usual as I say I love making centers some people like it as it is I'll just take some um, dark yellow and make the centers dots like this I love the dots in the center of the flower it's it's like beautiful it looks like the flower pops up like even if if you use black or golden color also it looks like beautiful make some from here this way 